What's up guys, Renaissance here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the image here, the thumbnail, I am starting a new journey. I am starting to do a let's play completely 100% blind walkthrough of the video game Ashen. So I've heard a, a little bit about this game and it seems like something I would personally really enjoy playing. Um, it's supposed to be very Souls-like, so very similar to Dark Souls. Um, a lot more minimalistic, and you'll probably see that from the artwork. Um, I haven't actually played any of it, but just from the imagery I've seen, it's a very minimalistic game, So, um, just visually speaking at least. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Um, so we got a little character create here. Very minimalistic, as you can see. We'll go with uh, Rapscallion there. Shepard. Uh, I'm something like that. No, that's almost red. Uh, I'm pretty pasty in real life, guys. So, all right, yes, very, very minimalistic. That took all of what thirty seconds. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Um, I don't know if I can skip this opening intro. I have actually seen this opening intro, but uh, it doesn't seem like I can skip it, unfortunately. I am playing on PC as well, guys. Um, you can see my mouse cursor there, actually, I'm sure. Let's see if I can get that out of here. Among yeah. the stars, the ashen fly. Beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds' many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great Asher flew down to rest upon her boughs that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great Ashen grew weak with age and fell from the Tree of Worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the Ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man, Githin's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin, toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. Dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance. Soon, the not sure what just happened there. Born from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak. For that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. All right, guys, so uh, hopefully you got all that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, apparently, is this a real guy in real life? I can walk right through him, so I'm not sure. Um, basically, 
this big bird was the creator of light and also the creator of humanity. Um, okay, so Y is actually jump here. Not sure what A is. B is gonna be roll. And, but he died, unfortunately. So we are trying to resurrect him to bring light back to the world. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a bonfire. There's this guy. We're going to interact with him. The cliffs ahead should provide a good vantage point. Beware. The rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. Word. All right. Lots of help. So, start menu. So, right off the bat, you can see in the top uh, left corner there, um, we definitely have, like, a health bar and what appears to be a stamina bar. Um, we have, like, a club here. Normal attack, power attack. I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. Okay, I can't actually hit that guy. Um, that's our settings. So let's see. We got survivor's rags. We'll learn about this as we go. Broken spike club. With sharp teeth of rock, getting hit by this club is like being eaten by a cave. A rock was the first weapon, and it's never gone out of fashion. <laughs> Survivor's Rags. Long gone are the glory days of mighty Lath Lathrian heroes in shining armor. Something to take the edge off the cold and dark that all we can really hope for. That's all we can really hope for. Vorsa. So these are consumable slots, crimson sap slot, potion slot, empty slot, shield slot, belt slot, two-handed weapon slot, spear slot, scoria slot. Uh, yeah, so a lot to learn. <laughs> Definitely a lot to learn. Um, oh, we have a lot going on here. Artifacts, talisman. We have hearth. Reminder of home that provides a thin barrier against despair. Press closely against your chest. This relic recalls the warm comfort of a safe home and full stomach. Uh, all right. Settings. Let's see gameplay. Alright, so just like Dark Souls, there's no difficulty levels or anything like that. Alright. Oh. Oh no, we put the fire out. I'm so sorry. Word. Ash suckers, nothing but trouble. Not safe, not safe, never safe. Keep the light, hide it, keep it. Them shadows, they's always watching. All right, so this traveler has lost her mind, obviously. What in the heck? Get away with Fine, fine, I'll leave. Whoop! <laughs> Broken bone hatchet, an axe of bone. Primitive, yet brutal. Uh, I mean, yeah, take it, for sure. Can I... Is there a way that I can sprint? Because that would be amazing. Uh, keyboard double tap dodge. Uh, sprint is B. Hello, friend. Oh, all right. <laughs> You aren't a friend, apparently. Uh, scrap metal and hardwood bound together in the name of survival. Find the right salvage and you can reclaim your own life. All right, so can we parry? Oh, yes, we can. Very Dark Soulsy, but I will say it's kind of hard to tell the difference between friend and foe. Like, what are y'all? 
Oh, these travelers, man, they are cracked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go check out over here. I don't see. Explore, explore. White Sapote. Instantly heals a moderate amount. Oh, well, pfft. Gotta take that. So, no, like, Estus yet. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. No! <laughs> Will the water insta kill us? Apple Cricket increases your stamina regen speed for a short time. You don't want to talk? Fine, I don't want to talk to you. Uh. What do you think, guys? Insta death? I'm gonna go with insta death. Just a guess. Well, I saw something there. I definitely want to explore. Like, I know that's gonna take a lot of time in the video. Oh, I got one of these little rabbits trapped here. Hold on. Uh, go, no. Hey, yeah, I got him. Another white support. Climb up. Oh, snap, son. This is not Dark Souls. <laughs> we can actually climb. Holy cow. Very interesting. It's almost like a little like glitchy spot, but it's not though. Or is it? I can't tell. Very interesting. Nothing from that guy. I mean, I'm gonna get all these white sapotes. I'm trying to heal up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this isn't really a tutorial. I mean, I haven't, it's a tutorial area, I would imagine, but it's not very tutorial if that makes sense. It's not telling me anything. I think that's where that rabbit just uh, pseudocooed there. Is this my little NPC friend? I think this guy's an NPC, at least. Hard to tell. Oh, thought I was slick, guys. All right, you want me to come over here, clearly. Ah, for a cutscene. Okay. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. I'm 100% with you, brother. Woo! That is bright. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some tutorial here. That seemed a little wonky. Like, why would they do that? I don't know, but what's going on here? We got a cave? With me and my, my, my brother falling here? I don't know if this is my brother. He's clearly helpful, though, huh? Come on, Paco, get up. So, first impressions, guys, just looking at it. Yes, it's very minimalistic, but it kind of works. Let's see, can I equip that? Yes. Now, how do I... I don't want to use it though, I just want to have it. What did I do? It's like, I feel like it's kind of like Assassin's Creed and what you can explore and what you can't, maybe. Maybe? Oh, another cutscene. 
What a sight. Our world once more bathed in ashen light. Why aren't you have felt the power of the ashen and survived? We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. I'm with you, fam. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. There's a ritual stone nearby in the district called Vagrant's Rest, but I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. You must find them. Word. I fell and hit my head. Oh, I awoke. Jockel. No, come back. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to follow Jockel. So we gotta go find this dude's stuff for him. What's good? Bataran's hammer and spark. Most likely the vagrants have them. The thieves and scavengers. They'll steal anything that's not chained down. Alright, so you can see in the top right there. Okay, well, alright, so here's there's his uh, quest. Uh, that's our map there. And our active quest, it looks like, or journey as they're calling it. Let's go, Jockle. You the man, man. Uh. Okay, so this is this is in fact the tutorial. Let's see if we can parry here, huh? Ooh, not effectively. Backstab? Uh, not really. And do we have passive healing? We do not. Okay. Very dark solely. I really want to critical attack these guys. I know you can do it. All right, we just use that little white, what is it called? White capote? White sapote. And heal up. Oh! So these are like, uh, whatchamacallit in uh, Bloodborne, or they're like life gems in Dark Souls 2. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that dude actually had the hammer. Find B Bataran's spark. Easy enough. So you can definitely kind of traverse very interestingly here. And I'm not sure what we're gaining. It's something in the top left over there. It says 96. Not entirely sure what that entails. What did this say? To propose assisted climb? What in the... I am not sure what I was doing there. I guess if you're if you're venturing with someone you can do that relatively easily. Plus two max health, that's nice. Uh, 
Okay, so you can't really destroy any of this stuff. The movement's a bit clunky, guys, but I think maybe once I get used to it, it won't be so bad, but it is, so far, a little bit clunky. little hut over here, huh? Ooh, camera doing some weird stuff. Okay, so fall damage. Probably a thing, but that didn't hurt. I'm trying to see how far I have to fall for it to start hurting. <laughs> we probably should be using our little map but I am just kind of exploring a bit here. Trying to get a feel for the game. So we got a lot of guys over here, obviously. Come on. Come on, you. Man, I really want to parry. Seems easier said than done, though. I don't know where my friend went. So from what I can tell, no backstab. No critical type attack. I, I thought I parried him pretty decently there, but... Oh, stamina management, guys. Wasn't my forte in Dark Souls 1. It's not going to be my forte in this game either, obviously. God, we look like a dumb chipmunk. Alright, there's all kind of items over here, huh? Small sack contain ancient Latherian riches? Nice, nice, nice. Craven Remnant. Bones from a fallen coward that can draw you back to Vagrant's Rest. So kind of like a homeward bone type item. Guys, I have no idea where I'm <laughs> going here. Oh, there's an item like just chilling out there. Oh, 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 we're drowning. We are drowning. <laughs> Swimming is apparently difficult. Restless Knoll. How do I get up there? Oh, you cheap shotting. He's done it. Yo, crazy. Cut it out. Oh, I gotta go down there. Spearhead can be used to make a new spear, apparently. Oh, God. All right, I'm not going to try to go for that right now. Okay, so bonfires don't work, apparently. Can I get that item without drowning to death? Uh, yeah. This looks deep. That looks really deep. Oh, 
Okay, okay. That looks like I can't make it. <laughs> Another scoria stash. I take it, I don't want to fall down there. Yeah, so, I mean, we're just kind of exploring here, guys. I don't know. Um, Restless Knoll. Vagrant's Rest. We are very far away from B Bataran. Bataran. A little framey there. I'm enjoying it so far, though. It's definitely a little clunky. Mm, can't do that. But... Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Get him. Get him. Nothing, huh? What was that? See, it's like a little bit platformy. I'll bet not much, but enough to get you wondering. Hmm. Hmm. Ho ho. Bad idea. All right, so the shield. Bad idea. So these guys are kind of tough. We win survive. Look at these punks. All right, so I broke his guard, he broke mine. Oh, you can charge your power attacks, okay. So your power attacks can be charged, duly noted. Got him. See, we're getting something for killing these guys, and I don't know what, but we're getting something. Broken spike cudgel. Are any of these items better than what we're already using? So this does... What, 39, 46, uh, and 46. No, this is the best weapon we have right now. We probably need to go back to, what is it called? Vagrant's Rest. We're, we're kind of working our way back around, but just barely. Ooh. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll tell you, the jumping mechanic is a lot nicer than uh, Dark Souls, that's for sure. All right, so we are back in Vagrant's Rest. Good, 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 good. We need to find this dude's... What are we trying to find? His spark. Oh, hello, Mr. Levitate. What are you doing? Friend, comrade, <laughs> I don't know, he's broken, he's broken, he's broken. Oh, <laughs> good to have you back, good to be back. Alright, so what, alright, so that's battering. You should find the hair first, please can you let it front for I cannot recognize. The vagrant camps near the cliffs. My dude. Restless Knoll? Maybe that's where it was. Or 
Broken Iron Club. Oh, I see. Oh, this is a... Yeah, this is a two-hand weapon. Alright. Oh, mama. Mamacita. Well. Definitely slower. I and we can't block. Woo. Does a lot more damage, but... Yeah, we're definitely slower. It's probably going to be a little bit harder to dodge as well. Maybe not too much harder. Wandering Lake. You like that dodge, friends? Boom! Oh, wasted way too much stamina there. Yes, okay, I'm kind of liking this. All right, so he's not gonna, he's not gonna follow us, apparently. That's fine. Can I get back up there? <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, cause he clearly doesn't want to follow us to any of these other uh, areas. Whoo. Way more, uh, like, traversing than Dark Skull, oh no, than Dark Souls. Oh, that was, <laughs> guys, that was beautiful. Man, where is this? Is that the map? And that is... Main Journeys, Bataran. I feel like that's just where Bodron is. That's not really telling me where his weapon is. I could be wrong. Boom! Good teamwork, friend. Yo, he's pretty good. Old, uh, old Gromit here, or whatever his name is. He's got some oomph behind him, you know? Not a lot, but enough. Jory's Falls. Yo. About to die here. Are you following me here? Will you actually follow me? Yes, I think this is where I wanted to go. You handle that guy. I'm gonna go pick up this. That was it, batter and spark. Oh, we really don't need to be trading like that. So I'm kinda getting the hang of the combat. Go to the ritual stone. So that definitely is 100% a quest marker. Oh, okay, all right, what are you? What are you? Oh, forget this, guys. What are we doing here? This does not seem like where we need to be. Yep, 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 <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> 
Come on, friend. Let's get out of here. We, this is not where we want to be, guys. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I don't really want to fight you, though, if we're being honest. How do we use that? Not sure. I'm back in Vagrant's Rest. We're trying to find this ritual stone. Uh oh. Wait, no, this is uh this is our friend, right? Yeah, this isn't <laughs> Oh man, he is large. Give me my hammer, so I might awaken this sleeping stone. I cannot strike the awakening beat. Fine, fine, fine. Give me touch the spark to the ritual. Give me your power, I declare. Oh, he's got one arm, or like one hand, I just realized that. That seemed like a positive. Town founded. You have claimed Vagrant's Rest. Alright. Don't know what that means, but I appreciate it anyway. Journey complete. What do we get? Anything? Jockle! He's joined our town. Friend. It's great to have you here. I have searched foothills and found no sign of the ashen we must consult Gethin of the birthing waters she will know where to look Gethin can be found bathing within the annex of light bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs there lies your way in all right so we gotta go find Brethren. is that right And we got a side quest here with a, what is, interact. So this is like a bonfire, maybe? A town. Yeah, find Geffen. Do you dream? In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber calling to me each time is the same he stands atop an old listener ruin calling to me i have found the ruin by the lakeside will you help me climb it oh of course you want us to help you do something why am i not surprised i'm just kind of looking around here my father and brother never returned from their journey i want it yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna come with me, hopefully. Is there like a way to like level up or use? Alright, so these are, we can't do anything with that. Gear. Scoria. Crafting and decoration. Once mined as currency by the merchants of Lathyrus, many vagrant traders still collect them and use them as a means of exchange. So that is indeed our currency um i don't know i don't know guys we've done some stuff we did some things that's gonna do it for this episode i think and then in the next episode i guess we will help old dude find his pops or find his brother not sure I'm trying to see if we can do anything here no it doesn't look like it all right guys so that's gonna do it for this episode if you enjoyed it and you can't wait to see some more of this completely blind let's play of ashen smash that like button for me subscribe to the channel so you can always get notifications when i upload a video and leave a comment telling me what you think and we will see you next time guys bye